Autodesk is one of the biggest software companies today. It is specialized in architecture, engineering, media, and entertainment industries such as VFX and game development. It has an arsenal of some of the best computer graphics software, but the thing is, a good portion of them are acquired from other companies. In this video, we will talk about notable pieces of software that Autodesk bought and a glimpse of its history to see how it was before and after Autodesk bought it. Number 9. Sketchbook Pro Sketchbook Pro, also referred to as Sketchbook, is a raster graphics software intended for expressive drawing and concept sketching. It was first developed by Alias Systems before being acquired by Autodesk, and it was originally developed as a commercial software, then it evolved into a subscription model when Autodesk changed their way of selling their services. This program can also create flipbooks or animations, and it supports layers with the ability to import from and export to Adobe Photoshop. Number 8. Modbox Modbox is a 3D sculpting and painting tool. It was created by SkyMatter, founded by Tybor Majar, David Cadwell, and Andrew Kaminich. These guys are former artists of Weta Digital, where it was used to produce the 2005 Peter Jackson remake of King Kong. Modbox's primary application is high-resolution digital sculpting, texture painting, and displacement and normal map creation, although it is also used as a design tool. Modbox was developed by SkyMatter in New Zealand by the three artists we talked about before, as they were working on Lord of the Rings at Weta Digital. They created the software to expand their own toolset and was first used as a complete product on King Kong. The beta was released in May 2006, followed by the version 1.0 in February 2007, and on August 2007, Autodesk announced the acquisition of SkyMatter. Number 7. Shotgun In 2014, Shotgun Software announced that they had been acquired by Autodesk. Shotgun Software are the publishers of the popular Shotgun Project tracking software for media and entertainment content creation. It is a software that simplifies creative project management and unifies visual effects, animation, and games teams of all sizes. Shotgun makes popular production management software that helps production, post, and visual effects coordinate their efforts. By using cloud computing, Shotgun empowers powerline facilities and locations to work closely together. Companies using Shotgun include DreamWorks Animation, Blizzard, Microsoft, Walt Disney Animation, Double Negative, Ubisoft, and more. Number 6. Tinkercad Tinkercad is a free, online 3D modeling program that runs in a web browser. It is known for simplicity and ease of use. Since it has become available in 2011, it has become a popular platform for creating models for 3D printing, as well as entry-level introduction to constructive solid geometry in schools. Tinkercad was founded as a company in 2010 in the European Union by former Google engineer Kai Beckman and his co-founder Mikko Manonen. In 2011, Tinkercad.com was launched as a web-based 3D modeling tool. In May 2013, Autodesk announced they would acquire Tinkercad. Number 5. Motion Builder Motion Builder is a 3D character animation software. It is used for virtual cinematography motion capture, and traditional keyframe animation. It was originally named Filmbox when it was first created by the Canadian company Kaidara, later acquired by Alias and renamed to Motion Builder. Alias in turn was acquired later by Autodesk. It is primarily used in film, games, television production, as well as other multimedia projects. At SIGGRAPH 2012, Autodesk announced a partnership with Weta Digital and Lightstorm Entertainment to develop the next generation of this technology. Number 4. Arnold Arnold is an unbiased, physically-based ray tracing render engine created by the company Solid Angle. Notable films that have used Arnold include Alice in Wonderland, Thor, Captain America, X-Men First Class, The Avengers, Space Pirate Captain Harlock, Pacific Rim, and Gravity. The chief architect of Arnold is Marcus Fajardo. The beginnings of what is now Arnold emerged in 1997 when Marcus decided to write his own renderer. 
that year he attended Seagraph, where his interest in stochastic ray tracing, which is a foundational part of Arnold's rendering technology, was piqued in a discussion with his friends attending the same conference. Solid Angle, the company behind Arnold, was purchased by Onedesk in early 2016, and the acquisition was announced officially on April 18, 2016. Number 3. Revit The original software was developed by Charles River Software, founded in 1997, but later renamed Revit Technology Corporation in 2000 and acquired by Onedesk in 2002. Autodesk purchased the Massachusetts-based Revit Technology Corporation for $133 million. The purchase allowed more research, development, and improvement to the software. Number 2. Softimage Softimage was founded in 1986 by the National Film Board of Canada filmmaker Daniel Langoise. At the time, there were only three employees. Its first product was called the Softimage Creative Environment, later renamed to Softimage 3D. It was the first commercial package to feature inverse kinematics for character animation. Softimage 3D was used for the creation of special effects for movies such as Jurassic Park, Terminator 2, Titanic, and The Fifth Element. Its successor Softimage XSI was used in the production of Academy-winning feature film Happy Feet and 300 to name a few and the production of video games such as Konami's Metal Gear Soldier 4. The company became public in 1992 and was acquired by Microsoft in 1994, and in 1997 the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences awarded Softimage a scientific and engineering award for the development of the actor component of Softimage 3D. In 1998, Microsoft sold the Softimage unit to Avid Technology, which was looking to expand its visual effects capabilities. In 2008, Onedesk signed an agreement with Avid Technology to acquire the brand and the 3D animation assets of Softimage for approximately $35 million. Number 1. Maya Maya was originally an animation product based on code from the Advanced Visualizer by Wavefront Technologies, Thompson Digital Image, Power Animator by Alias Research, and Alias Sketch. Walt Disney Feature Animation collaborated closely with Maya's development during its production of Dinosaur, and Disney requested that the user interface of the application better be customizable so that a personalized workflow could be created. This was a particular influence in the open architecture of Maya, and partly responsible for it becoming popular in the animation industry. In 2003, Alias was given an Academy Award for Technical Achievement by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences for Scientific and Technical Achievement for their development of Maya. And later, Maya was bought by Autodesk in 2005 under the name of the new parent company, and Maya was renamed Autodesk Maya. However, the name Maya continued to be the dominant name used for the product. In 2003, when the company received an Academy Award for Technical Achievement, it was noted to be the most used in films such as The Lord of the Rings, Spider-Man 2002, Ice Age, Star Wars Episode 2, and so on. And by 2015, Venture Beat Magazine stated that all 10 films in the consideration of the Best Visual Effects Academy Award had used on a desk Maya, and that it has been used for every winning film since 1997. Maya is one of the best software that Autodesk has ever bought, as well as some of the CAD software that architects and engineers use. Autodesk is a corporation that has been buying software companies along with their software to use it commercially or just use its technology and integrate it with software it has already acquired. What Autodesk did over the years affected a lot of people across different industries, especially the software it discontinued that were actively used by a lot of artists and studios. I have read a lot about artists who were very affected by that because this had completely thrown their lives into chaos. Actually, we will talk about this in another video, talking about the software that Autodesk discontinued, why they did it, and how it affected the industry. I hope you found this video useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.